Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Morning with Proverbs. This is where we have two minutes, a very short two-minute video to discuss uh, the book of Proverbs and to share with you something that you know I've learned um, this morning um, and just to be able to share some of the wisdom which is from the book of Proverbs, which was actually written by, they say, the wisest man that ever lived on the earth. And we believe that wisdom can actually, if you apply these things, can actually change your life, truly. Um, so let's get into today's reading. Uh, it comes from um, Proverbs chapter 2, uh, and we're only going to do a short reading, verse 4. So Proverbs chapter 2, if you're taking notes, uh, chapter 4. And it says, if you was to look for it as for silver and search for it as for hidden treasures. Let's read that again. Very simple. And if you was to look for it as for silver and to search for it as hidden treasures. What's he talking about here? He was saying, if only you would search for wisdom as you search for money. If only you would search for wisdom and knowledge like you do that lottery ticket or you run after that job. That, you know, so many of your problems could be answered. What he was saying here is, the answer to all your problems is not money. We believe that. You know, as long as I had more, if I had more money, I would have no issues. If I had more money, everything would be cool. If I had more money, my marriage would be cool. If I had more money, you know, my, me and my kids would be cool. But in reality, a lot of times that wouldn't be true. Okay? The truth is, what we need more in this world is more wisdom and knowledge. What we don't need more is more money in this world than ever before. At any point, right now, there's more money because there's more, been more money printed than ever before. And we still have so many problems. Because we're walking in a lack of wisdom and knowledge. Now, if we were to search that, what kind of things you know, could be transformed? How could nations be transformed? How could your life be transformed? So what Solomon is saying here is that, look, when you first wake up in the morning, don't think about how to get more money. That's good. But think about how can I increase my wisdom and my knowledge? We live in a world where there is so much information out there now. There is no excuse why you can't get your wisdom. No excuse why you can't go out there and get knowledge, but you've got to first for it like you would first and seek it like you would seek looking for money. So I hope you've been blessed by this short two minute video. And as we say, God's gift to us is life. And what we do with that life is our gift back to God. Be blessed and have a great day. God bless you.